Hi, and welcome to the C++ Builder for iOS preview video. I'm JT, Director of Product Management, and I'd like to share with you some of the upcoming features of C++ Builder for iOS. Let's go ahead and start the IDE. And now that the IDE is loaded, let's take a look at some of our project options. We now have a FireMonkey mobile application for C++ Builder. Let's go ahead and select that. And we're going to go ahead and pick a phone master detail template, which will provide us a couple of tabs and a master detail relationship between two forms. Okay, so what you see here is a master detail form with two tabs and a prototype bind source, which provides prototype data for us. We can switch between the two tabs. These will demonstrate the master detail relationship between the two. I can also switch between iOS 6 and iOS 7 styles. And we're going to be deploying to an iOS 7 device, so let's see what that looks like. Um, and we also will be deploying to an iPhone 5 device. Um, we can see it in the landscape or portrait modes as well. So let me go ahead and plug my device in, and what you'll see is it popping up here in the target. Okay, so now I see my iPod listed here in the target folder, and let's go ahead and deploy. So C++ Builder is building the ARM executable for us, packaging it with the Xcode command line tools, and deploying it right to my device. So now that the app is running on my device, I'm going to go ahead and use an AirPlay tool to take a look at it. And here is our application running on the device. If I select a name, I'll get a detailed view of that name. Great. Let's go back to the IDE. And what we'll do is we'll bring up another example. I'm going to bring up a mobile controls example. Show you all the different types of controls that can work uh, within iOS 6 or iOS 7 themes. But let's go ahead and set up an event handler for this done button. And we'll write some C++ code in here. and we'll do a show message with that value. Passing the C string to show message. We'll also set a breakpoint on that line and let's go ahead and start this time with the debugger. So this time it'll be compiled and linked with debug info. It'll be again deployed onto the device and a debug server will start for us so that we can debug the application on the device. Okay, let's go use that AirPlay app again to take a look at the application. Okay, and uh, we'll just take a couple quick look at some of these controls. using the iOS 7 theme. But let's go back and hit that Done button. And at this point, we've hit a breakpoint in our IDE. So let's pop back into the IDE. And what we see here is that breakpoint has stopped where we expected it. Let's do a tooltip evaluation of the C++ type here. You can see right there in our data that we do have a string, hello C++ for iOS. Let's take a look at the CPU view real quick. And uh, of course, confirm that these are ARM 7 instructions. So this is a ARM v7 binary running on the device, and we're debugging it uh, this application directly on the device. Okay, so let's go ahead and do one more demonstration for you. This time, I'm going to plug in my iPad, and we'll do an iPad-specific application where we have a little more real estate to work with. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the location demo. And this time we're going to go ahead and see our target is an iPad. There it is. And let's go ahead and deploy this. Okay, so now we have the app running on the device. Let me go ahead and mirror that application. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn on location services. And as would be expected, the application asks for permission to get the location from the user. 
once we get the latitude and longitude we'll go ahead and use an embedded web browser window to display my location on a Google map so this is the Embarcadero offices in Scotts Valley and I'm sitting right about there so this was a quick preview of upcoming C++ for iOS support with the support you can build applications for iOS devices and I hope you enjoyed this preview.